What's up, guys? Chris with Chef Sports Cards here. We're doing 2020 Tops Opening Day 5 Box Break number 7. So, sorry I'm coming on at the last second. We're going to start a few minutes late. Um, just because... Uh, so, some of the Tops Chrome Break, which uh, we're doing... We're supposed to be doing next. We can't do tonight. Um... Of course, because of the tornadoes in the Midwest, the shipping's all screwed up. And even though I ordered them like a week ago, of course, all the, the Topps Chrome update boxes that I ordered are coming out of the Midwest. So they were supposed to be here yesterday. They say they're coming today or coming tomorrow. So tentatively, we're rescheduling it for tomorrow night at 930. Now, I sent emails to everybody who's in that break. I know there's only a few that are in this one. They're in that one. Um... If somebody has an issue, if somebody wants to be refunded, that's fine. I'll do that. Um, otherwise, we will do it tomorrow night at 9.30 before we do the Top Series 2 break tomorrow night. So I do apologize about that, but, you know, Mother Nature, what can you do? Um, of course, it just happens to be this week I order, <laughs> I order all these boxes from west of the Mississippi, um, you know. What are you going to do? Secondary market, you get it where you can. So anyway, uh, just going to give me a few more minutes here. Uh, I want to double check and make sure I got messages out to everybody. And we will get started on this opening day. So just hang in for a minute.
What's up, guys? Chris with Chef Sports Cards here. We are doing 2020 Tops Opening Day 5 Box Break number 7. Um, sorry for the... We're running okay here. I'm getting messages from YouTube. Okay. Um, sorry for the little bit of a delay. As I was saying before, uh, if you weren't here, the Topps Chrome update break after this is delayed till tomorrow. Um, due to ship, due to the uh, tornadoes in the Midwest, shipping's kind of screwed up. So uh, if you're in that break, uh, I sent you an email explaining if you'd like a refund, let me know. I'll send a refund out after I do the opening. I'll send refunds out after I do the opening day break. Otherwise, we'll just do it tomorrow night at 9.30. So anyway, uh, Let's go Yanks and Cubbies. All right, Orman. Let's do it, buddy. All right, so uh, if you're new to the channel, haven't broken with us before, welcome. We're glad to have you. Hope everyone's staying healthy out there and being safe. Um, we ship all cards. Pretty generous with the top loading. We will top load all rook uh, top rookies. And then, of course, any hits, variations, so on and so forth. With opening day, you never know what you're going to get. We've had a good past couple of weeks. We've done pretty well with opening day. So let's hope we keep that streak alive tonight. Uh, let me go over the teams real quick, and we will get into it. Braves, Alex P. Orioles, Ruben F. Uh, Red Sox, Stephen D. Cubbies, Orman Y. White Sox, John S. Uh, Reds, Toby C. Indians, Andy V. Rockies, Ruben F. Tigers, Andy V. Royals, Ruben F. Astros, John W. Uh, Angels, Justin H. Dodgers, Alex U. Uh, Brewers, Dave K. Mets, Ricky B. Yankees, Orman Y. Um, A's, Jason B. Phillies, Brett M. Cardinals, Jason B. Padres, Jason B. Mariners, Justin H. Rays, Ron B. Rangers, Jeremiah D. Blue Jays, Jeremiah D, and finally Nationals, Wesley L. So, all right. So, again, I'm sorry to keep repeating myself, but the Topps Chrome break that's after this will not be happening tonight. We'll have to do it tomorrow night because of shipping. Uh, if you, that's cool, which it seems to be with most people, that's fine. If you'd like a refund, just let me know and just email me and I will refund you and then. I don't know. We'll try to resell those teams in the chat tomorrow night. Um, I do know a few people are being refunded, so there will be some teams available when that comes up. We're going to do that at 9.30 tomorrow night. All right. So opening day, as we know, we never know what we're going to get with opening day. But like I said, we've had uh, past few weeks, last week especially, the five boxes that we did last week, we killed it. So let's, uh, let's hope we're going to do that again tonight. I see John is taking another shot, going for uh, the Luis Robert for the third week in a row. He's hit it for the last two weeks. Uh, this is from a fresh case. So anytime I uh, hit that uh, Luis, I always feel like I need a fresh case. So let's see. Good luck, everyone. Let's do it. If you guys want to hit the chat, by all means, hit it. If not, just open some cards, have some fun. And hopefully forget about all the nonsense outside of our little world. So we'll just, we'll kind of, you know, plow through the base, look for those uh, top rookies. And of course, uh, any hits. Let's make sure our focus is coming in nice. All right, it wasn't for a second what happened. All right, focus, be nice now. Uh, there we go. Uh, Devers, Kai Boom, and Mookie Betts sticker card. Guys, if you're new to the channel or haven't had a chance to, if you can hit that subscribe button, man. We're trying to get our subscribership up. Be a huge help. I would really appreciate it. Uh, Soroka Cup card. And there is our first Bo Bichette. Uh, Dustin May rookie. So with the top rookies, um, I'm sure everybody knows who they all are at this point, but just to go over them, Bichette, Lux, uh, Jordan, Nico, and uh, Aquino. Those five, we'll make sure those are sleeved and top loaded. Usually, out of these, um, you'll get about one per box. Um, 
every once in a while you get a bonus one or minus one, but usually it's about one per box. So the nice thing about the top teams in, 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 in a you know, less expensive break like this is those rookies alone can kind of, you know, pay for the spot, which is nice, you know. I mean, Jordans are still getting, I don't know, like five bucks a piece out of here or something like that, you know. So, you know, if you're picking up five of them, you, you, can, get tw you can get 25 bucks back if you want. All right, there's our first Nico. All you regular guys, John, Alex, Ruben, nice to have you all back. Appreciate you hitting us up again. Uh, we are doing, besides the makeup break from tonight, God, I hope that shipping comes, your, uh, Yamamoto rookie, we are doing a Top Series 2 break tomorrow, 19 Top Series 2 break tomorrow night also, which is up on eBay. So uh, Friday's a very odd night for us. We don't usually ever break on Friday. And then Saturday, we're going to do another Top Series 2, and we are going to do another Top Scrum update. All right, first one to 2020, Eddie Rosario for the Twins. For the Twinnies. So if you guys can join us for any of those, please. I would, uh, we would really appreciate it. It'd be awesome. Uh, who is the twins? Okay. Um, if you are just in this break and not in the current break, these will be out tomorrow, in the mail tomorrow. So we uh, we are pride ourselves on our expedient shipping. All right, first hit, first box. Good luck. Boom! Look at that for the Cubbies. Clark Bear with a little pinstripe in it. Nice. Nice hit. I love the mascot stuff out of here. It's a lot of fun, man. Cool stuff to add to the collection. Uh, Cobby's Ormond. There you go, buddy. Those, those, uh, those mascot things aren't easy to hit, my man. <laughs> They're not easy at all. What's uh, Let me see real quick. I'm always amazed by the odds in here. We hit a card last week. Uh, let's see. Even mascot. Oh, my God. My eyesight's so bad. Mascot Relic, one in 1,040 packs. So, what do we got? 760? No. 720 packs in a case. So, it's about one per every case and a half. So, not an easy hit. There's our first Aquino rookie. Uh, Vlad Cup card. And then, uh, la so last week, we hit a, a DJ LeMayhew. Walk This Way autograph number to 10, which myself and uh, there's our first Jordan rookie, and many of the people in the break didn't even know we're in here. And we looked it up, and it was like one in 48,000 packs or some crazy nonsense like that. So we've had some good luck with opening day, so let's hope we keep it up. Judge. And Boba Shett sticker card. Your daughter will be happy. <laughs> you know, the funny thing is with those, it's kind of like um, those relics that you get. Oh, there's a nice, nice to 2020 blue Gliber Torres for the Yanks. Um, if you guys ever open, what's it in? Uh, I think it's Pro Debut. For the minor league guys, they have like, um, oh god, what is it I'm trying to think of? Like, they'll have like relics from the guy who's like the concession guy, like the hot dog guy shirt and stuff like that. <laughs> I mean, I'm a pretty serious collector of baseball, but those things are fun. I just stick them in the back of the box and get a kick out of them when I pull them out. Tatis Cup Guard, that's kind of how I am with the mascot stuff. Oh, another hit. Nice. For the Doyers, Walk This Way Short Print, Max Muncy. Nice. Alex, you, my man, Alex. Congrats, buddy. It's so one thing about opening day. A lot of times, if there's one, there's two hits in the same box. Like a hit in a short print. And then lots of times you just get, you know, blanked. <laughs> 
He's run, he's walked his way, run like one every three or four hundred packs. Nice one for the Doyers. Congrats, buddy. All right, first box, two hits. I like it. Your daughter liked that one? That's cool, man. Hey, we hit a, uh, like, when it first came out as a lay rookie, we hit a uh, Bernie Brewer autograph. And I'll be honest, I was a little jealous about that one. I would have liked to have that one. <laughs> Congrats, Alex. Nice hit, buddy. Thanks for being with us again tonight. Gallon Rookie. Solak Rookie. Seeger McKay Rookie What I'd really like us to do is pull a one of one. I've never pulled a one of one. Not that I've pulled many one of ones, but never pulled one out of opening day. And I mean, you know, breaking over the past few years, I don't know, I've probably been through 15, 20 cases. I think you could find one. I just want to see what they look like because I know they're very similar to the blues. Fred Bird on the back. Um,. I think they actually are blue, but I think it says like OD instead of opening day on it or something like that. Brandon Lowe on the back. Otani. Tim Anderson, blue to 2020 for the White Sox, and Aaron Judge, sticker. What's up, uh, John S? Congrats, buddy. Travis and Griffey on the back. Mike Trout. <laughs> I will do my best, my man. Believe me, I want to pull everybody a one on one. <laughs> you never know. You know how the gods are, man. The card gods. You call for it. It happens an awful lot. It's 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 a little freaky. I mean, I I bind a brace just like you guys do, and it's amazing how many times somebody will say, you know, I'm looking for an Akuna or I'm looking for a you know whatever, and boom, it comes up in the next couple packs. So there can be something to calling out your cards, man. I believe it. Wally the Green Monster on the back. And for the Rays, Charlie Morton to 2020. Raises Ron B.
There's our Gavin Lux rookie. Focus. There it is. And Hobby Baez sticker card. Lazardo rookie. Alonzo Cup card. Screech on the back. Uh, Casting Cup card. All right, last pack of box one. Kyle Lewis rookie and Ted Williams on the back. Give me one sec, guys. Situate myself here a little bit. Box number two, good luck. on the back. Another Gavin Lux rookie. It's number two. Bryce Harper. Spring has sprung. Insert. Lazardo rookie. Alonzo Cup card. Giolito. Casting Cup card. Eloy Cup card. And another Bo Bichette sticker card on the back. Kyle Lewis rookie. Uh, Brendan McKay rookie. And the swinging fryer. Again, just something not quite right about that name. Papa. Reggie Jackson insert. And 
for the Phillies. Scott Kingery, 2020. Phillies, Brett M. Austin Riley. Chris Bryant. Orbit on the back. Chavis. Some kid named Trout and Boba Shett, rookie insert. A Javi Baez sticker card. Luriano. Uh, Nico Rookie, number two. And for Boston, Eduardo Rodriguez to 2020 blue. Ripkin on the back. Stephen D on the Boston Red Sox. Clark on the back. Focus. Machado and Lindor. <laughs> you know, it's funny you say that. Uh, I always say that. I kind of joke around that way. Uh, Aquino rookie. There was a post uh, Vlad Cup card and Aaron Judge sticker card. There was a post last week. I think it was on Instagram, I think. And it had, like, his career numbers so far compared to, like, all the best players. Uh, Alvarez. Like, you know, where they were at his age now. You know, uh, and I, I really wish you could remember it off the top of my head. I'm sure somebody else has seen it. But it's like, you know, home runs. Barry Bonds was at. 265, he's at 285. Or Pete Rose was at X amount of hits, and he's at just, you know, the same amount of hits. Or I mean, like, the numbers are insane. Like, 
for what he's done so far in his career is like the same or better than like every Hall of Famer. But because he's on the West Coast and I mean, I'm, I'm certainly not downplaying how great Trout is. Everyone knows how great Trout is, but I do think because he's on the West Coast and because he's on a team that never makes the playoffs, he still doesn't quite get as much as he could, you know, as, as much praise as he could. Uh, Tatis Cup card. You know, everyone's kind of like, well, yeah, it's Trout. We all know that. And people who are baseball fans know that, but I wonder if he's not quite the household name like a Jeter was or something like that. I, I mean, maybe I'm wrong, but I always kind of feel that way because he's out on the West Coast that he gets a little... He doesn't get quite as much praise as he should because the numbers were ridiculous. I was like, you got to be kidding me. Yeah, yeah, I don't know what's, uh, who knows what this year is going to bring. I mean, Solak rookie, um, if anything, at this point. Believe me, I know, my son, my son's a baseball player, he plays in high school, and he's, uh, he's, he's a pretty good player. I mean, he's, you know, if he keeps developing the way he is, he could certainly, you know, maybe play at college level or whatever. Um. Victor Robles cup card for Washington. Nice one there, 2020. Um, but he's also like, you know, in that development stage where, you know, he's like 15 turning 16 and he needs to take that next step. And it's like he's missing this whole season. And not only did like the high school team, which he was going to play varsity, um, cancel, but now like all the summer teams, like all his travel teams, they're all canceled. Like there's nowhere... There's just nowhere to play baseball, you know, this year, and uh, it really sucks. I feel bad for him because he messes it. And who knows? I mean, I don't expect anything from him with it, but I know he really enjoys it, you know, and I enjoy watching him play. He's good, you know, and... You know, like any dad that like enjoys watching his kid play sports, you know, but like I thought at least he would have another Boba Shet. I thought he would at least have like his summer ball team, you know. And uh Yeah, yeah, that's exactly exactly what I mean. Um but when they, I, I, I thought for sure, like, they would still be able to have their travel team this summer, you know, but they even canceled that already, because they don't usually start playing until Memorial Day weekend, so, like, and even if it was, you know, even if it started a few weeks late, like, I don't know, I thought they'd be able to play by June, you know, but I guess not, well, look, nothing's worth getting sick, so, I mean, I shouldn't complain about it, I just feel bad for them, that's all. But he is he's going to IMG this summer in August, hopefully, if he can't if, if they're open and taking him. He's supposed to go, so we'll see what happens. All right, box number three. All right, so two wasn't too nice to us. Let's hope three is nicer. Yeah, Rick, I, I, that's exactly what I mean by, like, if he was on the Yankees or, you know, the Cubs or I mean, even the Dodgers. I mean, I know they're a West Coast team, but the Dodgers just always get more play. Now, why isn't my focus coming in? Come on, focus. Sometimes I don't like the top card. Um, Jesus. What is going on here? Come on, focus. Sorry, guys. I don't know why I lost it all and stuff. There it goes. Um, yeah, like even the Dodgers get more play, you know, just because they're the Dodgers and been around forever. But, well, I mean, look, it's the same with collecting, too. You know, I mean, 
if guys are on the Yankees. There's our next Nico rookie. Or, you know, the Cubs or, you know, their cards go up in value, you know, based on nothing other than the team they're on. Like, I, I thought it was hilarious two years ago. I don't know if you guys remember this or not, but uh, a kid, Josh Stowers, he's a Yamamoto rookie. He was a draft pick of Seattle, and his card was in Bowman Draft, you know, and his base Bowman Draft auto was selling for like 15 bucks. He got traded to the Yankees, and the next day his base Bowman Draft was selling for like 30 bucks, you know, like just based on the fact that he's going to the Yankees. So it does affect a lot, some of those teams that you could be on. Mancini on the back. That's why sometimes, like, you see some of the smaller teams or um, there's another next to Kino rookie, you know, especially, like, the Diamondbacks. And, look, I know the Diamondbacks have won a World Series. The Diamondbacks have been a legitimate team for quite a while, but it's still the Diamondbacks. Like, and you would think of all places that Arizona would be, you know, a hotbed kind of place for a team. But uh, there's our next Jordan rookie. Um, last year for Houston, Carlos Correa blew to 2020. For John W. Um, so last year when uh, Seth Beer and J.B. Bukalkis got traded there in the um, Granky deal. You know, it's <laughs> you, like that says beer kid has a, you know, he's got a ton of upside. A lot of people think he's going to be a good player. And it's like, well, now he's in Arizona. So uh -uh. <laughs> you know, not that staying on Houston was necessarily the best thing either with what's been going on there lately, but uh, you get a lot more exposure there. All right. Another hit. Good luck, everyone. Let's see what we got. Gary Pressy. Chicago Cubs announcer, ballpark prof profile, oh, former organist, <laughs> wow, I didn't, I always thought these were announcers, I didn't know he was the organist, Gary Pressy for the Cubs, the organist for Wrigley Field, look at that, that is certainly an auto you won't get every day, I can tell you that, why is my focus going all crazy on me now? Sorry, guys, just trying to get my. I don't know why it doesn't want to catch now. You son of a bitch. All right, anyway, Gary Pressy for the Cubbies. Uh, congrats to Orman. Another hit for the Cubs. All right, here we go. Congrats to the Cubbies. <laughs> That's good. She's killing it. Got the right team tonight. That's what I like about opening day. You know, I mean, I, I'm not a... I mean, I realize opening day is a lot for set collectors and stuff like that, but you can get some nice stuff out of opening day and break is never going to break the bank. You know, pick up a team for $5, 10 $20. I mean, I know the hits aren't plentiful, but... You get a lot of cards for the price that you spend, you know. TC Bear. And as much as I love doing the, uh, you know, Bowman's and all the more expensive stuff. Oh, nice. Awesome. Um, and I do love doing Bowman. But, you know, it's nice to do breaks like this, too, where you can pick up stuff and not have to break the bank, you know. Dude, I'm so psyched. This is our first break. It's awesome. 
when you the only problem is when you hit in your first break uh, you know it can become addictive <laughs> it's so lack of rookie on the back of that one Acuna Harper, spring has sprung on the back. <laughs> okay, I'll see what I can do. Like I said, call them out. You never know. Call them out. You, you, it does seem to help sometimes. Oh, she's got all those buy sticker cards. <laughs> Here's a Bellinger sticker card. Uh, another Bo Bichette rookie. Senzel. Mookie Betts sticker card. See what we can do. See if these fingers have any magic in them. Another uh, Boba Shet for rookie insert. It's a tall order out of opening day, but you never know. Oh, there's a nice one there. Kyle Lewis, rookie 2020 blue for Seattle. For Justin H. Some of these rookie blues with the wrong opening day on them are getting them, fetching a pretty price. You should check them out online. You'd be surprised. Real Muto. Another Boba Shet rookie. And another Gavin Lux rookie. Justin Turner. Pete Alonzo Cup card. Lazardo rookie. And for San Diego, a, a Kirby Yates to 2020. And a Juan Soto sticker card behind that. San Diego's Jason B.
casting cup card. Billy the Marlin on the back. Kyle Lewis rookie. McKay rookie. And Reggie Jackson. All right, a couple more packs in box three. Hopper. Lance Lynn. All right, put some base away. guys box of four good luck everyone Baez. And for Atlanta, Austin Riley Blue to 2020. Nice one there. I like Austin Riley. I mean, I don't like him because he's a brave and, you know, I live in Philadelphia and I'm a homer and like all the home teams, but I like him as a player. <laughs> it's like, you know, sacrilege in Philadelphia to like a Braves player. <laughs> it's like liking a Cowboy player. <laughs> Mr. Red on the back. All right, opening day. Let's get some more hits. Ripkin on the back. Luis Araz on the back. This is our next Gavin Lux rookie. And Aaron Judge, sticker card. Yeah, depending on what happens with Major League Baseball this year, um, Lizardo rookie, if they get a season at all. Um, you wonder how somewhere down the line it's going to come into play. You know, you're going to have that one guy who's like, on the line for Hall of Fame, you know, and it's going to be, well, if we didn't have the pandemic in 2020, he would have had X amount of this, it, it'll, you'll see one day it's, you know, 20 years from now, it's going to be, there's going to be a fight over someone, another Nico rookie, um, because they're just, you know, on that, that line of whether they should make the Hall of Fame or not, you know. My son and I were talking about it, and um, 
you know, I'm sure you guys have seen this <laughs> on Felt in Philadelphia here last week. They were showing like a simulated game on MLB The Show on TV as a game. Cubs versus Phillies. And to be honest, I, I we have a um, we have a Xbox, so I don't really see PlayStation. And I don't play games very much, so and my son does, but I don't I you know, I've never really seen MLB the show like to play it up close. I've seen it on commercials and whatever. And uh, it's amazingly real looking, especially when they're back a little when they get close up you can tell, but and uh, <laughs> I said, Well, if they can't start the season um, in, until like August, there's another Aquino rookie. They should just simulate the season up to that point <laughs> on uh, MLB The Show and then go from there. So like, <laughs> if they say we're going to start playing August 1st, they simulate all the games up to August 1st and that's where they start. <laughs> uh, Alvarez rookie, which I know is ridiculous, but... I mean, they're showing simulated games on television, for Christ's sake. <laughs> Avi Baez. And people are watching it. My wife was watching it. My wife's a huge sports fan. So I was like, I heard her watching a baseball game, and I thought it was one of the old ones because they've been doing that around here, playing like, you know, big games. There's a Bichette rookie insert. Um, you know, big games from the past few years or uh, one night we watched like... It was like game seven of, you know, some Sixers thing from like 2012 when they played Chicago, when it was like they were the eight seed and Chicago was the one seed or whatever. And I mean, it's cool. You know, the, it's fun to watch. You don't really remember it, so it's still entertaining. But, you know, my wife's getting all into it. I'm like, you realize this happened eight years ago, right? <laughs> yeah. um, but, like, I don't know. How else do you do it? Either that or what would what, be interesting about baseball is if they can get the season together is if it's like a 50-game season, like regular season, it's just like a sprint to the playoffs, that could be pretty interesting, you know, um, considering starting pitchers would only have to basically have 10 starts for a season. I mean, they could uh, really turn the heat on, you know. But, you know, there's also the question, too, of whether they have to have another spring training you know, if they decide when they can or can't come back, like, do they need to go back to Arizona or Florida for a couple of weeks? What are they, you know? And, you know, the owners want the games. I mean, they're losing money hand over fist. Not that I feel terribly bad for them. They're all billionaires anyway, but. Kyle Lewis, rookie. Uh, McKay, rookie. Wally the Green Monster. And for the Doyers, Alex Verdugo, blue to 2020. Before the trade. Actually, you think they would have been able to get Verdugo on the Red Sox by this one? Or did that trade ever go through? I heard there was an issue with it or something. Oh, we were talking about it one night on here, and somebody was saying there was a problem like his. Um, his physical or one of the guys physicals in that trade and they weren't sure if the trade was actually ever finalized I guess I mean I guess it was but a Verlander sticker card Gavin Lux rookie insert
Screech. Romuto on the back. Carter Kaiboom. Another Bobochette rookie. Dustin May rookie. Fred Bird on the back. Bellinger insert. Another Nico rookie. All right, last pack of box four. And for Texas, Lance Lynn to 2020. And for the Phillies, Bryce Harper sticker card. Texas is a Jeremiah D. All right, guys, last box, number five. Good luck. <laughs> Thanks, Mike. I appreciate it, buddy. Yeah, I try to get these things out as quickly as possible. You know what drives me crazy? I'll tell you why. Well, I want to make you guys happy, obviously. But when I buy into breaks, myself, and I do. I mean, not as many as I used to. I used to buy into absurd amounts, but because I break now, you know, the past couple of years, I just don't have the time to. I would hit cards, and then it would take like a week and a half to get to me, and the value of the card would go down, you know, especially on new product, you know. Um, Walker Bueller. Uh, I'm sorry, there's a Jordan uh, rookie insert on the back. Like, uh, you know, Bowman Chrome, for example. I mean, you guys all know, like, if you open a box of Bowman Chrome on day one, unless it's one of the really massive hits in there, like, some of those middle guys, the first week can actually be worth, like, two and three times what they settle to, uh, Mr. Met. And, um, you know, what they settle to after the first week, and it used to drive me crazy when I would get, like, halfway decent hits from guys and then wait, like, weeks to get it, you know? Uh, Gavin Lux, rookie. Anyway, that's just my theory on it. So thanks, Mike. I appreciate it, buddy. Uh, Justin Turner. Yeah. You know, it's funny. Wow. There's like no cards in this pack. Do we have something in here? This is really weird. There's only four cards in that pack. I think we're missing, like, there should there be a hit in here, probably. Wow. All right. Lizardo rookie. That's really weird. I, at all these boxes we've opened, I've never seen that happen. Uh, Mookie Bat sticker card. Yeah, it's funny because I actually broke with a guy um, a couple weeks ago who I'd never broken with before. It was just, you know, on eBay. I didn't know who the guy was. And he's been around. He's not, you know, like he's a known breaker. It's, you know, not like he was a new guy or anything like that. 
I had like a couple mid middle of the road hits with him. Nothing crazy, but like I just happened to notice like a week later, uh, Eloy Cup card and a Brandon Woodruff Blue 2020 for Milwaukee. I was just like screwing around on the eBay and like I noticed it hadn't even been like shit like um, the info hadn't even been sent to be shipped and it was like seven to ten days later and uh, who's got Milwaukee Dave K um, I was like oh maybe something happened so I emailed the guy and I was like is this is did this ship and it's just not showing up on the shipping he's like oh no we're gonna get it out tonight or tomorrow and I was just like oh my god like I couldn't even stand to sit around and look at the cards sitting here that long. <laughs> They're driving me nuts. <laughs> so. That was really weird, that four-card pack. Sometimes there's more cards in the pack. Like right? You get like nine and ten in a pack sometimes, but that's the first time I've ever seen one short like that. Unless it's got a hit, you know. <laughs> no, no, no repair yet. But we've we've been known to pull it at the last second too. We did pull repairs the last two weeks, um, and John's had them every week, so he's he's going for number three. So we'll see uh, if we get one here. Uh, get one in this last box. Yeah, it is like Panini points. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> Wally the Green Monster. Oh, Panini points. Is there nothing worse? <laughs> and again, for the Brewers, uh, Josh Hader, 2020. Yeah, I, I don't know that I've ever seen anything worth saving many points for, but I also haven't looked in a long time. I, On the rare occasion that I get them, I usually just sell them off on eBay. Uh, Arenado uh, sticker card. Uh, no, this is actually our only break tonight. Uh, Boba Shet rookie, and we're almost done this one. Our second break has to hold off till tomorrow because we didn't get the product in yet. But there will be. We're doing Top Series 2 in 2019 Top Series 2 break tomorrow night, which is up on eBay. And then the tops, the 2019 Tops Chrome update that we're doing tomorrow will have a few spots available because because uh, I had to cancel it tonight. A couple people are asking for refunds. So if you check in, there will be some spots available on that one. Some good ones, too. Another Nico rookie. Griffey on the back. Americana stuff. Like, and look, Mike, I'll be honest. I haven't looked at the Panini's points page in probably two or three years. So I honestly have no idea what they have these days. Um, but I know in the past when I had them and I looked, I was never, oh, we got a hit there. Let's hold on to that one. He's definitely hitting there. Put him on the bottom. Little it, it, get a little anticipation going. Um, I mean, not that there's not that the hits are terrible. They're just nothing that I I never seen anything that you would sit there and be like, oh, I'm gonna get Panini points to try and get this. You know, something that's like over the top. But Lemayhew. Yeah, well, like I was saying before, uh, another Aquino rookie with the shipping like this. Um, if you were just in this break, this opening day break, these will be out tomorrow. So you should have them right at the beginning of the week. That is, of course, if shipping's okay out there. I mean, depending on where you live, uh, like I said, the reason we're a little screwed up with 
doing a break this week is because of the tornadoes in the Midwest have really screwed up shipping west of the Mississippi. So uh, there's another Jordan rookie. Uh, Acuna insert. Uh, Zach Gallon rookie, blue to 2020, and one Soto sticker. Um. No, it's no problem, dude. Questions, I answer questions all the time. Well, you can check, you can search by my my name, which is Chef's uh, Chef Sports Cards. Um, we break Thursdays and Saturdays because um, I actually am a chef. Now we are breaking tomorrow night too, which is Friday. I know we don't normally break Fridays, but um, you know, if you just look up my name, you can find it on eBay and. You know, we always come up on the first page with whatever breaks we have posted. You know, if you just put in uh, baseball case breaks, you know, just if you want to just kind of check out what's breaking in general. Um, I'd like to at some point, maybe by next year, start a website and try to start doing it through a website. It'd be nice not to have to pay eBay $8 million for every break we do. <laughs> but, um, yeah, that's, I mean, you just search my name. That's the easiest way. And... It's almost always um, Kyle Lewis rookie. My breaks, I set them up where the they always end the the auctions always end between eight and nine o'clock Eastern time because they just kind of find that seems to be a good time across the board for everyone. So, uh, and then we usually always start at either nine thirty or ten. Uh, Brendan McKay rookie. It's like not too early for the West Coast and not too late for the East Coast. So, Hoppa and Cody Bellinger sticker card. All right, a couple more packs left. We definitely got a hit in that last one. Hopefully, a goodie. We'll see. <laughs> uh, Javi Baez blue to 2020. I knew one was going to come out after you asked for Javi Baez. There it is. <laughs> I honestly been thinking this every uh, ever since you said about that Javi Baez. It's been like in the back of my mind the whole time that Javi Baez is going to come out here. So there you go. Blue Javi Baez to 2020. I know, Mike. <laughs> I got to work on that one, buddy. All right. Last pack of the break. Good luck, everyone. We got something uh, beefy in here. All right. Let's see. Uh, 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 uh. Okay. Good luck, everyone. Let's see it. One, two, three. For Texas, wow. Rugnid Odor Diamond Relics. All right, these cards are really cool. This is uh, dirt from the field. Uh, for Jeremiah D., congrats, dude. Sneaky Rangers hit. I, I love these cards. I think they're so neat. Uh, they're usually like one per case, if that. So, 
nice sneaky Texas hit. You got a little little dirt from uh, what is that Globe Life Stadium, Globe Life Park they have there. Very very cool. Congrats, buddy. All right, guys, give me a minute. Let me put a hit recap together, and then we will be out of here. Um, <laughs> nice. I will be back. I will come back on at 11 because that's what time the other break was going to start. Just to, for anybody who might not have note, saw my uh, emails, just to let them know. But other than that, that'll be it for tonight. So, all right, give me one minute here, guys. And again, like I was saying, if you can join us tomorrow, we'd love to have you guys. Uh, tomorrow and Saturday. So we got kind of a full week here. I got some. Uh, Series 2 Blasters, 19 Series 2 Blasters, and if you guys know your cards, you know they are not cheap these days, uh, and not easy to find, so I just thought it'd be kind of a fun break to try and find some monsters, you know, um, Tatis and Alonzo and Vlad and all those good guys, so we got those going tomorrow and Saturday, and hopefully if everything comes in the way it's supposed to, uh, we'll have a couple Topps Chrome updates going too, so... All right, so here are rookies. All right, so opening day has been pretty good to us, to be honest with you. I mean, I've seen better, but I've seen much, much worse than we did tonight. Uh, I'd say last week was a little bit better, but we had we had some really crazy, a couple like crazy hits last week. Um, but let's go over the hit recap real quick. All right. So let's, well, knock my Demi Gorgon over. Hold on. And my baseball guys are going with it. All right. So rookies, let's see what we got. Uh, Aquino, one, two, three, four, five. Usually it's one per box. So hopefully there'll be five. Sometimes you get a bonus. Uh, Nico, one, two, three, four, five. There's a bonus six. Now, these will all be sleeved and top loaded for you guys. Uh, Bichette, one, two, three, four, five, six. Bonus Bichette. Uh, Jordan, one, two, three, four, five. And then Lux, one, two, three, four, five. All right. And our Blues to 2020. Uh, Tim Anderson, Galiber Torres, Eddie Rosario, Javi Baez, Zach Gallen, Josh Hader, Brandon Woodruff, Lance Lynn, Alex Verdugo, Austin Riley, Kirby Yates, Kyle Lewis Rookie, uh, Carlos Correa, uh, Victor Robles, Cup Card, uh, Rodriguez, Kingery, and finally Charlie Morton. Those will be sleeved also, or uh, top loaded also. And then our hits. Four hits tonight out of five boxes. Not bad. Uh, we got this mascot relic for the Cubs of Clark the Cubby. And then you guys just saw this guy. Uh, Diamond Relics for Texas. Rugnet Odor. Nice sneaky Texas hit. Um, for the Cubs also, Gary Pressy Organist um, autograph. And then finally, a Walk This Way short print for Max Muncy and the Dodgers. Again, guys, thanks for joining us. I hope everyone stays healthy out there. I hope to see you again sometime this weekend. And uh, I really enjoyed it. It was a lot of fun. Take care.